Many people ask me, Dr. Eric, what is remote patient monitoring? And why is it important for me, the patient? Well, nothing illustrates the point better than this story. In my practice, I had an elderly lady. She was in her late 80s, was doing great. However, she had some fluctuations in her blood pressure, and we decided to give her a remote patient monitor, which is a little device that is hooked up through Bluetooth and 4G to her blood pressure device, right? So very simple, every time she would take a blood pressure, that information would go through Bluetooth to the little 4G device, it would go into the cloud, and we, the clinicians, would see that information. Easy enough, right? Okay. One day, I'm noticing that we get an alert. On our, on our notification system, we get an alert, and it says, blood pressure very low, 80 over 40. Now we're like, wow, why is it so low? Okay, we pick up the phone, we call Mrs. Smith, we call her daughter, we say, hey, is Mrs. Smith okay? Her blood pressure is low. Any changes, any fever, any chills, any new medications? Oh yeah, by the way, we went to see a cardiologist, and the cardiologist thought that she has congestive heart failure because of an echo that he did. He did a test and he found that. And you know, the indications are if someone has congestive heart failure, you give a specific medication to help them out called a beta blocker. Okay, great. But one of the side effects of a beta blocker is that the blood pressure could fall. Now think about it. What if we didn't catch the fact that she was taking this medication? And what if she would continue to take it, have low blood pressure, what would happen in the elderly who have low blood pressure? Look it up, Google it. They are high risk for falls. So we would have had a lady in her late 80s with low blood pressure fall down, break her hip, be in the hospital, possibly get surgery, then get rehab. Question is, would they make it or not make it? You can look up the statistics of that as well. But we were able to prevent all of that by catching the fact that her blood pressure was low with remote patient monitoring. So again, I feel that nothing illustrates the point better than a real medical story in a medical practice. I hope this was helpful to everyone to better understand what is remote patient monitoring.